Welcome to Park Warner. This is my first visit. Uh, I'm here for a day. Park is open 12 till 12. Uh, I have got fast pass because I'm not sure I would get on everything if I didn't. Uh, but come join me and let's see what uh, what this park is, is like. I'm really keen to get on the new ride that opened this year, but I want to see everything. I want to do all the rides. So come with me and let's see what they're all like. There's that top hat. Oh. I'm really curious to see what that's like. I know that it looks super slow, and it is. There's a massive trim brake at the top, but apparently it's all tied to the audio, and it makes a lot more sense when you're on the ride. I can't take you along with me on these rides. Uh, this is one of the parks that doesn't allow filming on rides. Um, but I'll get lots of off-ride off shots and uh, you'll get my reactions. I believe that's the one thing I don't get speedy pass for. Everything else, I have access to one shot speedy pass. I have no idea what I'm going on first. I'm gonna just see where I go. Beautiful park though. So well themed. So well themed that I'm only just in the door. Anyway, let's see what's first. Well, that was interesting. I just had to go on uh, Coaster Express. I didn't bother using Fast Track for that because it was only five minutes. Um, I, it was about five minutes, actually. It's an interesting ride. I mean, I do love a Woody, not like that, but, and it was a great layout and I've never been on a wooden coaster with a massive downward helix like that. So that was unique, but it's a bloody bone shaker. That thing is rough. Like the, tr the trains were jumping off the track. But anyway, I'm kind of hoping that's an indication of the queues. It is stinking hot. Um, so I'm hoping that keeps a lot of people away and it keeps it quiet, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, I did the drunken barrels, the huffs break dance. That was walk on. Um, I would say it's a better cycle than the one I did in Port Ventura yesterday. <laughs> and then just went on Rio Grande. I did use Express Pass for that one. Um, and got absolutely soaked. That's great. You get the first thing you do is you turn on a turntable and go backwards. A little airtime hill and then get drenched. And you mosey along, go up massive hill and get drenched again. So yeah, that was good. That was nice and refreshing in this heat. Definitely needed that. I can't see through these glasses because they're covered in water. But that was fun. Don't know what's next. Is insane. I mean, the the theming in there—you really do feel like you're in a satan asylum. Uh, that was another one that I'm glad I had fast pass for. 50 minutes without walk on with, um, and definitely making me look forward to Nemesis coming back to Alton Towers next year. That was a good start in terms of proper coasters. So, so far I'm loving this park. Has to be said. I have no idea where I'm going next. Soon find out. Okay, I definitely think I might have lucked out, possibly because it's so hot, maybe not many idiots like me have decided to come here. Uh, I just did Lex Luthor, which is their Huss topspin. Uh, that was walk-on. Didn't see the point of wasting my Express Pass. If it gets busy later, I might use it. Um, I prefer Talikin at Fantasialand, uh, but that was still pretty good. And then just did Superman, which was also walk-on. Six minutes. Um, 
It is ridiculously hot though. Good thing about Superman, it's a bit like Shambhala. They actually have cameras on the ride, so I probably will put in some footage of me being an idiot on a roller coaster. Yeah, okay, so maybe I was wrong. Uh, these times are all really short. I don't know if it's just because it is hot or actually this part doesn't get anywhere as busy as I thought it might. It's good for me, that means I'm going to get on those things. In a big contrast. From Port Ventura, where I have barely got on anything and I've been there for nearly, well, I've been there for what, four days? Yeah. Loving this park so far. Well, I did um, the Vicoma Madhouse. Um, didn't understand a word of it, all in Spanish, no subtitles, <clears throat> so pre-show, no clue what was going on. <clears throat> quite a good uh, quite a good cycle nonetheless. I always love going on those because people who have never been on them before genuinely freak out and think they're upside down. Um, which is always fun. And then, now from what I've heard, you're not allowed to bring food into the park. Uh, the guy barely checked my bag, so if I did have food I don't think they would have cared. So I went to Gotham Grill, got a double burger, large fries, and a giant coke, because it's so hot. And it was 15 euros, which for a theme park isn't bad. And it was tasty, and I'm full, and I'm reasonably hydrated. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go and put some stuff in a locker, and then maybe brave the queue for the new uh, Gotham Escape ride. Let's see. That's annoying. Scooby Doo shut. And I'm pretty sure I've seen other people say that as well, so I think it's been shut for quite some time. I don't know if it's getting a refurb, if it's just getting maintenance, if it's gone. It doesn't help me, I'm only here for a day. So I won't be getting on Scooby Doo. Sometimes you just gotta be a big kid, huh? I mean, I'm on this little plane thing going around. Hi, it's really fast, it's quite scary. I think I'll manage. <laughs> There's nothing, it is actually giving a breeze. It is so hot. Oh. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, wait, ah, oh, wait. No, that almost was a breeze. <sighs> oh well. There's another ride that isn't running, unfortunately. Looks like the Roadrunner roller coaster. Yeah, it's been kind of. Still says 15 minutes on the board, but um, it's not operating. I wonder if that will come back later. Okay, I did Rio Bravo and I got a little bit wet. I just did the shoot the shoot right here. I'm absolutely soaked. Which, considering how hot it is, actually a really good thing. It's great that they've got a good selection of water rides here, especially since it gets stinking hot. Um, I'm loving this park, I have to say. It's uh, just a great ride lineup. It's just the right amount of busy. I don't know if I've just timed it well because it's so hot, but yeah, see, <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna now go and brave uh, Gotham City, because I'm right next to it, so let's go and get in that queue and see. Gotham City Escape. <clears throat> I had quite a lot of things to say about that. That is, um, so the queue's a little weird because they batch you up outside and then they take you in for a pre-show, which I'll put a clip in, 
and then you just walk through the rest of the building and I kind of think I know why because it's supposed to be like emergency get out get out and if if you went from that room and there was a queue kind of takes away from the theory of it being an emergency escape but still batching everybody up outside when they could be inside seems a little dodgy the ride itself <coughs> I really liked it there's definitely loads, I mean it's a classic Intamin, there's loads of places where my backside was not in the seat. Like, like, like those bits. That top hat that goes slow, it was kind of weird, I'm sure it is tied to the audio but it's in Spanish so I couldn't understand a word they were saying. And then, the end where you go up a spike, and, and then it stops. Like it, it was well paced, it looks, it's a lot faster than it looks, it looks really slow. But it just ended, and I, mm, it's kind of weird. Um, but on a positive note, it was what, 40 minutes I think I waited. It said 50, which for a brand new ride is pretty good. Considering I've still not got on Uncharted at Port Aventura, and it's constantly saying, it's constantly saying about two hours. So I think what I've seen the operations in this park are significantly better than, uh, than Port Aventura. As I said earlier, absolutely love this park. Definitely one I'll bring the kids to at some point. Maybe not when it's so stinking hot because I think my kids would die. But I don't think I've got very many still to do. I need to do that stunt fall thing and I'm contemplating the shot tower. And then I think I might be done. And there's still many, many hours because the park's open till midnight. So let's see where I'm going to go next. I just did that crazy thing. Yeah, that crazy thing there. Um, I don't normally get nervous for rides, but I definitely did going on that. Absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. But the speed that thing goes when they drag you up, you probably can't see. So when they drag you up those spikes, whew, that's, uh, that's quite an intense ride. But I liked it. I'm pretty sure I now have... Oh no, I'm going to say I've got every credit. I need to go and see if Roadrunner's working again because it was shut. If it's working, then I've got all the credits. And I've still got... Four and a half hours to the park. I sent some reruns. been on Poster Express, walk on, Rio Bravo, walk on, Batman, walk on. This is insane. 
I'm going to try and get back on uh, Superman now, which was walk on earlier, so kind of hoping it still is. I wish Port Adventure was like this. I just struggle to get on anything there. And I'm going to end up paying for a fast pass on Friday. And I paid for one today here actually, and I've used it all on a handful of rides because most things have actually been such short queues I didn't need it. Can't complain. Just finished the day there with a night ride on Gotham City or Skate from Gotham. Where are the new ride, the Batman ride. That ride is insane, crazy at night, crazy at the end of the day, fantastic way to end. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed my day today. This park is amazing. It's still got an hour and a half. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna get some food and head back to my hotel. Um, but I will definitely be back. I can't recommend this park enough. It's fantastic. Um, if you've enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. <coughs> Consider subscribing, I'm very close to 500 and every sub counts. Uh, share this with anybody who you think would find it valuable. Uh, I will have another video up with hints and tips from today and a video from how to get here from Port Aventura or to Port Aventura from here, whichever way you're doing it. Um, yeah, anyway, I've been Chris, you've been watching Coast of Dad, and I will see you in the next one. Adios.